good with y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in to another video. Let's see what's going on back there. Hey, as y'all can see, man, we got another part run. We in for a banger today. Hey, that sun out. It feel good. It's early in the morning. It feel good. So, hey, we about to get it in, man. So, I'm about to uh, make a summit run. We stopping by Joe Buddy Racing. I'm finna go pick up uh, my cousin. And yeah, man, we about to go. I'm about to go, hey, go spend some money. Got to get to it. Uh, Got to go by the bank again. And yeah, man, y'all know what time it is. I go by the bank, it's going down. So yeah, I'm about to um, I'm about to get some more parts for the box. Uh, I was gonna hold off, but man, I'm ready to just get this thing on the way, uh, complete as far as mechanically. I'm ready to just get everything I need. I was gonna do it little by little, get it to y'all like that. But I'm gonna go ahead and do what I gotta do. So, been hopping this car. I actually gotta go get a tire on this car, and uh, finna go do that. And then go pick up my cousin. Then uh, we heading to Summit, so y'all stay tuned. All right, y'all. So we made it to Summit, and um, uh, finna go in here, man. Get the rest of the stuff. I might, I might, I might all uh, set the camera up on the counter, depending on who I get, so y'all can see what's going on. Normally, I don't do that. Um, but yeah, man. Look, my little real talk. Well, ain't no real talk. More so advice. You know, cause I know people probably be like, man, you know, you spending all the money on uh, car parts and stuff like that. It's going to be people find the video on it, you know, that say that. But listen, let me give y'all some advice. When you, uh, when you got your business or whatever, man, either you're going to spend it on yourself or you're going to spend it and give it to Uncle Sam. So, you know, it's about being smart with your business. I mean, I'm just blessed that what I do, the cars and stuff, putting cars together and racing and all that is my career. So I'm blessed, you know, you buy the car parts. And uh, it's really a good business move. It's a good financial move. So, you know, that's just um, some uh, free game, some advice for somebody that might be wanting to be a creator or a car creator. Or maybe you just want to do YouTube, whatever, period. Or maybe you just want to open a business. So, rule of thumb, just to keep it simple, either spend it on yourself or your business or give it away. Give it away to Uncle Sam. So, I mean, it's just a little, you know, some advice, some business or whatever. Um tips but yeah about to get in here pretty sure it's a line cause it look pretty packed and uh I'm gonna catch y'all on the inside alright so, so we're back in here again look at y'all see it, it's packed too man y'all the same y'all see it, the same old cars in here and all that and boy it's a mean line God, boy it's a mean line today but let's go in here and all. Uh, Oh, I gotta lighten this thing up, y'all. We too dark. We too dark. Hold on, hold on. Let me lighten this up, man. Y'all can't see. But yeah, we are. Uh, we in here. I knew it was gonna be packed. Saturday, always packed. So, oh, I said we got up here about 12. Seems like I said every time we come up here to summer, it seems like when we get back, it be dark. No matter what time it is. Uh, what time it is so y'all know and cuzzo right there finna grab some finna get some stuff too so he gonna be shooting the um he gonna be shooting the vlog too so uh yep we in here getting some stuff so y'all definitely want to hit town like he gonna have some content coming too and all that i'ma uh, check in with y'all in a minute all right y'all look i'm at the counter so i'ma show my show my my um buddy mike hill some little i'm gonna be right here friday night so in valdosta Next Friday, so y'all make sure. Look, if y'all in the area, come out, man. Come holler. I'm gonna be right here, getting it in. Next Friday, next Friday, this all they got going on, and all that. So yeah, we getting it in. My buddy Brian getting it in for me. Been knowing him for years, man. Great dude. Been rocking with me a long time. So we getting all the, we getting everything together and all that. All this all good. So I'm gonna show y'all. We get uh get all the parts. I show y'all. We get back to the car. So. All right, so we got the, um, I got the, we're waiting on the part basically, so today, man, I'm going to show y'all, I don't know if y'all focus, uh, it ain't going to focus, but 13, 1300 parts, Cuzzo got some stuff, and um, he gonna, that's going to be on his vlog or whatever, he's going to show y'all, but hey, homeboy. I got something for you though. When we get up out of here. 
I got some, I got some phone, get out of here. So I stay tuned for that in the next clip. Y'all, I'm gonna show y'all everything I got. Got a lot of uh, a lot of stuff. So y'all definitely wanna stay tuned. Then we're gonna head to um, Joe Buddy Racing after this. So uh, yeah. And look, man, y'all see back there, boy, I've been wanting to go back there for years. I asked somebody one time, can I go back there? They told me, nah. <laughs> Man, I know it, boy. It's probably like Willy Wonka or uh, Chocolate Factory back there. But yeah, y'all stay tuned. All right, so it's windy, so I'm make it quick. It's just a quick little overview of everything I got. Y'all see that, though? <laughs> so it's a quick little overview. Uh, all of this. And let me see. Let me see. So, hey, look. Hold on. Hey, grab the fuel cell for me, cuz oh. Right there, a little fuel cell right there, y'all. I'm tell y'all what I need out there. Damn, we got, yo, here, homeboy. Yeah, I told you I got this on. Right there, them yours. See, look, I done got him, so he ain't even know it, boy. I'm slick. Them yours right there, man. I told y'all in the other video, he shot. He shot messed up. So you ain't gotta get them, so I got them for you. Yeah, I appreciate you. I appreciate them. Nah, I appreciate you, cuz, oh, for real. That's why I got them, man. So, they're for my cousin right there, man. So, content on the way. Alright, y'all. So, over here at Joe Buddy Racing, man, cuz, oh, just, just saw Unk. We just ran into him. We still got, y'all can't see nothing. I'm just showing y'all this before I show y'all the part. Wifey car. Gonna try to crank this thing up, car, Unk. Oh, see, well, he put some gas in it. The other day I tried to crank it, man. It didn't. Nothing. With no gas in it, though. Let me try it now. Said it run good. Real good. I might have to hit the gas. Might have to get up here and hit the gas pedal. So. Let's see. Uh. Boy, this thing here got to have some deodorizer, y'all. This it smell terrible, boy. I'm have to go take it to my cousin and detail this thing. All right, y'all, hold on for a second. All right, got action. This thing running good. So. I see the wife the car running real smooth. So this, this right here probably be coming home tomorrow, y'all. I mean, y'all probably won't take her channel. There where the content going to pick up. So get ready. We just got a, say, got a little tie thing. Probably rim, probably be. So get a little 14 inch rim, and then we're going to be good to go. So this be going home tomorrow. But uh, I'm going to show y'all these parts I got. All right, so y'all just heard wifey car run good. Gad just had to get up there, car. Y'all know we just put the new fuel pump on it. But it ready. Like, it's finally, it ready to go. I said that tire, that tire over there just keep going flat. But I think it's the rim. Because that's where the car was wrecked at originally over there on the um, driver's side. I put new front clip on for and everything. So I think the rim bent. But Cuzzo said he probably got one. So we're going to check. We're going to go back to his house and see if he got one. And then we'll just take the tie off and all that. But either way, either way, the car going home tomorrow. So this one will be out the shop. And wifey going to be doing stuff to it. So y'all will be seeing that on her channel. Then John John probably going to be the next one to come out. The Camaro right here. Called Pretty Sure. I think DJ, I think he got the transmission towed down already. So this will be coming out next. And then the box. The box is the major project. Then here go the Cutley. The Cutley's. Y'all see he ready here to get a new radiator. The radiator was leaking. Uh, I think I think all Aunt gotta do is wire the electric fan up and this one right here'll be out of here. It'll be ready to go. So yeah. The who? The transmission. What do you gotta do? Tomorrow did? Nah man. I said he got a new radiator. Oh, that's a transmission. Nah. <laughs> hey look, man, this man confusing me, man. <laughs> Man, man, confusing me. I'm, I was lost. But yeah, we're gonna show y'all these parts, cause I know they what y'all waiting on. We're gonna show y'all these part on the car and stuff. He said he'll be back in about an hour. So like we know him, it's about three or four hours. <laughs> so we're gonna go over um we're gonna go go pull up old Cuzzle House for a little bit. And then I don't know, we're gonna see what's going on. So catch y'all in a few. 
Alright, so we over here at my cousin's house right now until Aunt get back to the shop. I mean, we want to just sit over there. So ain't nothing going on. But uh, just did some pictures for, for the ground. For my Instagram, y'all make sure to go follow that. J Malcolm 2004 Rides, go follow the Instagram. But show y'all what I got. I know they probably what everybody eyes went to. Went ahead and got me a nitrous kit. I was gonna wait. My original plan, I was gonna wait about six months in and then get the nitro kit, but I was like, man, forget it. I'm gonna go ahead and get it. I'm gonna get that box on the way, and it's still other stuff I gotta get that ain't uh drivetrain related. I'm thinking about I don't have no radio, I don't have no speaker. So when the car fire up, man, I ain't gonna have nothing to listen to. But I got that on the way too, cause I'm finna get a deck cut. I'm doing my car. I'm doing my car like like we used to do it, like I know to do. I'm doing my four six by nines in the deck. Cause that's what I wanna do. I ain't copying nobody else. And it sounds amazing. I'm gonna do my four six by nines in the deck. I'm gonna put the right size speakers. I, I usually I used to run power acoustics in the front. But I'm gonna put the size that it came with from the factory. They're gonna bolt down. Cause if you just spend the money, get some good speakers, they'll deliver. So I'm gonna do that. And all that, but back to the parts. But yo, got a nitro kit. I ain't gonna take it out the box yet. I might do it at the house, take everything out the box and do an unboxing, but this is a good kit. And uh, I give y'all the part number. Like I said, I spent 1300 today, right up on the 1400 for all this stuff. And uh, this kit goes up to a 200 shot. Now these, this was unexpected. I was just like, man, Last night I made this call. I like, man, I'm gonna go ahead and put my shot, man, cause like I said, I ain't doing no air shot. I'm gonna squat the back. So, and it's this a budget performance car. I'm not trying to get all adjustments. So, the comp engineering shots, front and the back, three way adjustables. They'll do the job for what I want to do. So, uh, yeah, you can run them on your big body. It's a good little budget shot, man. If you're not trying to seriously race. Listen, I know y'all hear them hear the names, QA1s and all that. Believe it or not, QA1, when you get into the upper echelon, even not even QA1s are not a real deal serious shot. For people that don't know when you start racing, racing. But if you just not trying to do too much, get them, man. They cheap. They about two hundred dollars for all four. Two hundred and some change. Alright. I got another Holly Blue fuel pump and regulator. And that's for this. Right here, cause this right here, this is a one gallon fuel cell. So y'all, y'all saying why you got a one gallon fuel cell? Some people are probably saying that. I'm gonna run a dedicated fuel system for my nitrous. Cause my car is a pump gas motor. So if I'm, if I pull up to the track, I got a tank full of 93. When you run it a certain shot, you want to run a uh, racing gas, a higher octane gas. So basically, basically like uh. When you when you start running a higher level of nitrous, you got to have the right octane gas. You got to have the right. You want to get a colder spark plug, and um, you, your timing got to be right. Usually they take two two degrees of timing out per 50, 50 shot. Basically, when you increase per fifty horsepower, usually two the two degrees of timing. Usually, my shot gonna be so small I could get away with uh, spreading it on ninety three, but. I just like peace of mind, better safe than sorry. So I'm gonna run 110 octane in that fuel cell. So if I got a tank full of 93, when I get to the track, I wanna use my nitrous instead of trying to drain the tank or get the mixture right. I just put my racing gas in the fuel cell and flip the switch to turn that fuel pump on, which gonna be run that fuel cell and then I'll be ready all the time, 24 seven. So yeah, so that's what that for. I'm going to show y'all all this. Some of y'all, y'all learned something now. Some of my people, y'all racers already. Y'all been on my channel, so y'all know. All right. This, this the purge kit. This is what you see when they spraying. Some people say the mist. <laughs> they spraying the mist out the hood. That's what that is. This the purge kit. Um, You need that to clear air out the line. It's not just for show. Clear air, air out the line and it drop the uh, bottle pressure. If the bottle pressure is too high. And then you know stuff like this. These just these are timing, these timing cover bolts. Like I said, they just to make unk jaw easier. And what it is? Oh, these the fittings. These fittings for the um for the fuel cell. These caps. 
to cap off the two top vents. I don't need them. Cause one of them is a uh, vent. You can run as a vent tube and the other one, you know, I don't need that. Then, these the, uh, these for the water pump pulley, I needed these. Since it's a counter sink, uh, it's a counter sink pulley. So that's what them for. Y'all see how the, see how the bolts made. So the seat plus, since I ain't running a, uh, I'm not running a flex fan. And these the, these the fittings that go on the uh, bottom of the fuel cell. So I can just run a, a 3 8 fuel line. Cause I'm not running braided line. Ain't no need. So if I'm gonna run braided line, I want it all the way, all braided line up on the fuel so Since I ain't started that way, I'm not gonna put braided line on the fuel cell cause it'll look tacky. All right, so I got that, all that stuff. Then let me see. And I give y'all the individual price breakdown, but off the top of my head, I remember the shots are like two, I think 210, 215. The nicest kit was 400 something dollars, I think. Purge, like 120, 130 or something. Fuel pump, another 130 or something like that. And fuel, I, I don't know, man. I just, <laughs> I don't know. I just, I just get what I need. This. This is a uh, water pump. I got a water pump, y'all saw in the other vlog, but I just wanted it, man. It look better. It's lighter, and it's aluminum. Aluminum dissipate heat better. See, this thing here, God, boy. This thing so light. This a long water pump. Got the fitting. See, that's what I'm talking about, stuff like that. I done bought all this stuff. I got that fitting right there. Don't even need it. But this aluminum water pump, it's a high flow. Um, I mean, I didn't. I don't need a high flow. I mean, a standard flow will keep my motor cool, but it don't hurt it. But it's a high flow uh, aluminum water pump. So yeah, like I said, you don't paint the aluminum, so it look better. It'll keep the temperatures down under the hood too. Cause aluminum, like I said, don't get hot. It don't hold heat like that. But uh, yeah, that's what we got. I close it in a minute. That's what we got. Like I said, uh. When I get to the house, I'm gonna take this stuff to the house and set the water pump car. I ain't worried about putting it on right now. And then I take this out, I take this out the box and show y'all piece by piece and explain that. So just stay tuned, y'all. We ain't done. Man, them LEDs, it look nice and everything, man. I see I got a part light out too. I know this clip, man, it's just random. I just came back from doing the thumbnail from back there. Y'all see I got nitro, but I had to get a good thumbnail for y'all, but. I don't know, they were just looking good from a distance, man. The LED go in everything. I got them for that box too. My old sound right here, boy. I've been wanting one of these cars for a long time, but really a wifey car, man. I gave it a wifey. I don't even dry anything like that, but I don't know. I just a real random clip, man. If we can get back to the house and holler at y'all in a minute, get all this stuff unloaded. So I'm gonna catch y'all in a few. Just stay tuned. Alright, y'all, so I'm back at the house. Y'all can see, man, it's the office, like I said. Y'all know the office got stuff everywhere. It turned into a car part play. But I showed y'all all that. I just add them to the pile. Car. I ain't worried about putting this stuff on the car right now. So I just brought it to the house car. I got enough parts in that shop. So that's everything I already showed y'all. But then I just, me and my family, we, my family, we just went to uh went to Walmart, pick up some stuff. So I messed around. Let me close the door, man. Cause they going ham there. <laughs> y'all know them girls, but them, my two girls be going ham. Kendra probably down there getting on to them. But, they went to Walmart, picked this up, man. I was thinking about it. I said, man, I ain't got no radio for the car yet. I ain't trying to do nothing too fancy. Like I said, it's still budget oriented. I mean, it getting a little out of hand, but I, it's just kind of hard for me to do stuff, half step, and e even, you know, it's kind of hard to half step with stuff. And budget, you know, like I said, I'm still not going the most expensive route because I could have got a more expensive kit. My my motor not even forged bottom in, all of that stuff, man. I could have got forged pistons and stuff. I chose not to do that. So, you know, it's still kind of budget oriented. But then what I picked up, man, uh, uh um it don't put out it don't put out a lot of power, but y'all know these in a lot of people call, man. The whole good old dual boy. I went with that. I went with a a flip out screen. Cause I I mean I like them. I ain't had one in a minute and everybody goes double den so I'm, I'm like to go the other way like being different but you know i got that they're going in the box then i picked up this i'm gonna put this we're gonna put this in the money carlo cars 
I'm just showing y'all this. It's just a Bluetooth. It's a uh, Bluetooth. It don't take uh, CDs or DVD. That's why the box so small and short. But I paid uh one fifty for this, I think. And that don't matter about them because it ain't in the box. But this, I paid one fifty. This part of the episode, so hundred fifty dollars for that. And uh, yeah. But uh, yeah. I want to show y'all that man, like I said, another box every episode, just the parts, parts episode pretty much. Show y'all what I got. Like I said, man, we ain't turn no wrenches today. I mean, we ain't, I know I said I was going to be at the shop, but we went in the shop called Aunt was running around all day. So, I ain't, uh, we ain't do too much, ain't too much going on. But I'm trying to keep y'all up to date with everything, show y'all every single thing I get. I'm trying to keep y'all up to date on the prices now. And like I said, the grand total was uh thirteen ninety four. I spent thirteen ninety four at Summit, so thirteen about fourteen hundred might as well say. And I get I'm trying to see if this the Walmart receipt. Is this the Walmart receipt? Yeah. Wait a minute. Hold on, y'all. I'm trying to. This DVD player might have not been that much. Hmm. I don't think there's a receipt. I don't think there's a receipt. They walk that they um they flip out DVD and if that is the receipt, I'm gonna have to look, I got two of them. Then I don't think there's a receipt though. But that that basically that DVD player might have not been that much. I don't know. I get the I get the true price for y'all. But uh yeah, that's it, man. Uh a lot of parts today, overall grand total spent today on the box was about fifteen hundred dollars. Um, fifteen hundred more dollars. So now we over that ten thousand dollar mark. We had, we actually had eleven thousand dollars in this car already. So I'm eleven thousand dollars in. Uh, no special paint, no special interior, none of that. No, no uh expensive rims, and we eleven thousand dollars in. No speaker box at the moment. No interior speakers. Man, I still gotta get that stuff. Man, it's crazy. Uh. So like I said, I gotta buy the six by nines. The uh, so that's four speakers I gotta get. I gotta get a total of six speakers, no eight speakers. Cause my console I got coming in gonna have six and a half in the console. So I'm gonna be running eight speakers inside the car. So I gotta get eight interior speakers. Um, and yeah, like I said, we got the gotta get the wiring for the amp and all of that stuff, and you know. Definitely that stuff. My bad about wiggling around, man. But definitely that stuff, man. You got to do that right. got to do that right. So you don't want no fires and all of that. And uh, I got a battery already. I got a battery from, I kept out the S10. I'm probably going to use it to run the car. And then, or either, either I'm going to use that battery that I had out the S10 to run the amp and put it in the trunk. Like get a, a battery, by, like mount it. I'm going to do it right. Not just sitting out in the open, bracket it. You know, hold it down, put a hole down on it. So, uh, I'm probably going to use that battery that I had in the S10 to power the amplifier. And then, uh, probably buy a brand new battery, or Optima, or Yellow Top or something, to pack power the car and do it like that. So, yeah, I probably end up switching my uh, alternator out, buying the real deal alternator later on down the line. But I'm just doing this, like I said, keeping it budget oriented. Uh, to get the car running and then after that after i get the car running y'all see what it look like what it run like what it sound like and all that in budget form then the budget goes out the window but uh yeah that's it man that's it like i said probably at like eleven thousand dollars right now i think spent and more to come that's all i can say and uh let's see oh yeah man look let me talk y'all i be seeing all these status and stuff man listen about income tax and stuff, man. Look, I just like to always speak on it. Cause it's rare income tax time. And I be seeing people people be giving people grief, man, about spending income tax money. Like uh I'm pretty sure people probably probably think uh well I'm I'm buying all this stuff for real time, probably think it's income tax money. It's not. Uh if it was, I would tell y'all, I'm not ashamed. Um uh, it's just hard work. I mean, this come out hard work, man, putting in the work and stuff, but cause I always have to pay back. Now, me and my wife, yeah, we get income tax with my wife do. Uh, we got two kids or whatever, but will I be buying something with some income tax? Yes, indeed. Because I already told, uh, I told my wife, man, I want her to get me a gas tank. Because I don't, I don't, we, what we do, 
when you doing YouTube and they're just putting y'all on some business game. When you doing uh when you self employed like me or doing any social media man and you making some like a substantial amount of money, that tax bill get crazy. That tax bill go get crazy. So I mean we just play it smart. What we do is uh just give it back. Just give it back and then you know you keep a little some a little a little bit of it and then you do what you wanna do. Or whatever. So I told wifey, I said, Man, look, I need a gas tank. I want a gas tank for the box shipping. And them real springs, so she gonna take care of that for me. Uh, and you know, business stuff like wifey on doing YouTube, so she get a MacBook stuff like that, and, and the rest we just give it back. But like before, I got in the position I got in, man. When I would get a little bit attacked, a little bit of some man, I would, I would enjoy myself. Hey, and I just want to come on and talk to people. Look. If you ain't got it like that, man, and you know you're using your tax to do whatever you want to do, hey, it's yours, man. You work hard for it. Forget what everybody else talking about. Forget what the internet talking about. And don't be ashamed. Like I tell my story all the time, I spent my tax money getting a camcorder. And, man, it was the best. It was my last. It was like I spent my last $341 getting a little handheld camcorder. That's how I started putting out these DVDs and got into the big rim game, which gravitated to the drag racing game. And... Without that income tax, <laughs> I wouldn't be well met today, probably. I mean, in my mindset, because I used that money to get that camcorder, and it turned into what it is today, man. So, I just want to throw that out there, because people are always giving people grief, man. Hey, look, yeah, we make foolish purchases. If a person make foolish purchases, let them, let them have it. I mean, it's there. Let them have it. You live and you learn, man. You got to live and learn. But if that's you, hey, don't let nobody give you no grief, man. Hey, enjoy yourself. These folks take from you all year long. They take more than you get back for that little income tax. They 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 busting our heads. They take it all year long. So hey man, enjoy yourself. Be smart with it if possible. If you if you're um if you're just not there mentally yet and you want to splur it, hey, do your thing, man. You know, you live and learn. They're part of life. But hey man, don't Forget people, man. Forget people if they talking about you. I'm, I'm talking to that person right now that probably got their tax and they want to do something. Don't be ashamed of it, man. Hey, call. If you ain't got it right now, if you keep hustling and grinding, you're going to get to the point where you got it. Tables always turn, trust me. And then you'll be in that last tax bracket. And then you'll be having to pay back. But, I mean, it's a good feeling. Um, But, yeah, man, that's it for today. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. And um, I'm going to catch y'all on the next episode, man. I got some more stuff coming. But uh, appreciate y'all, man. I'm out.